Sora 2 broke the internet last week with crazy video memes circulating on social media and its ability to create uncanny deepfakes of yourself. <laughs> Well, yes, it is groundbreaking. The only issue with it, it's the watermark. Yes, no one really wants Sora logos bouncing around the screen. Well, they are there for a good reason, safety. Yes, I'd still argue it kills the viewer's experience. I do believe OpenAI will remove the watermark with time, but until that happens today, I'll show you how to erase it yourself seamlessly using simple AI workflows. But before we begin, it's crucial to address the ethical considerations surrounding the removal of watermarks from AI-generated content. This tutorial is intended strictly for educational purposes to demonstrate the capabilities of AI-powered video editing tools. Um, the techniques that I'm about to show you should be used responsibly and ethically because removing watermarks undermines the principles of transparency and attribution that are essential for the responsible development and use of AI. Remember that the goal of this tutorial is to understand the technology behind it and not encourage its misuse. So let's get into it. Today I'll show you both a paid and a free way of achieving perfect results when it comes to removing watermarks from any video really and a breakdown of how this tech works. To quickly remove your Sora 2 watermarks, you're going to head over to Enhancer AI and under Tools, click on Watermark Removal. So let's upload our video over here and I'm going to select this one. But as you can see, videos bigger than 7 megabytes, it, it just won't let you generate it since there's a limit. So you need to compress your input um, as the maximum playload is 7 megabytes. So you can click in the link that is suggested over here in the disclaimer and upload your input video. Set your preferred file size to 7 megabytes and hit compress. Once it's done, give it a few seconds. Download your new video and as you can see over here, your video is now compressed um, to a value of seven megabytes. After you download it, we're going to upload it back into Enhancer. Boom. Great. So now we can see the remove watermark button light up. Click it and wait for about five to six minutes to do its thing. Boom. Here's our video. It's quite good. Look at it. The watermark is completely removed. Um, and this is not a blur technique where you essentially just are blurring the section where the logo is placed, the watermark is placed, AI is actually working to restruct and regenerate the part where the watermarks are shown. Again, here are a few more examples. Can't see him, but I can feel him. Steve, what is it? Gonna find out. Got him! Ready? Boom! It's the wild middle finger! Oh my God. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Look at you, handsome boy. This is your new bowl. See? It's got your face on it. You like it? Yeah, that's you, Lucas. Ready for some dinner in it later? The word is uh, ni, ni, vin, ni, vinig, vinig, ah, it's stuck. Why is it so hard? Ni, vinig, ni, vinig, I can't. All you have to do is head over to Enhancer AI, Tools, Watermark Remover, upload your Sora video and let it do its thing. And for now, only Sora 2 videos are supported, but uh, we can use this tech to remove unwanted objects in any video, like text overlays as well, TikTok logos and more. So stay tuned for the next product update. Very simple. So click off a button, nothing else to do on your end. Now here's how you can do the same thing with open source tools if you are tech savvy. I'll include a link to the workflow in the description for you to download. We are using Comfy UI. So this is what the workflow looks like. It's the same idea really. You, you have the input video which goes here and the output video which comes out with no watermark. Um, this workflow is built around a powerful video model in painting model called Diffue Eraser based on stable diffusion, which is specifically designed to fill in the masked or missing parts of a video with content that is both detailed and consistent over time. The Diffue Erase Loader node is um, loading key models to perform this exact task, right? So we have a realistic vision safe stancer file, and this is the foundational checkpoint model, um, which is a popular model known for generating photorealistic images. In this case, it's making it a strong base for the in-painting process to create high-quality replacement content for the watermarked areas, right? I've set up this workflow to use a conditional logic system that selects um, an appropriate watermark mask. So it compares the video's uh, original width and height to determine if, if it's a vertical or a horizontal video. And based on this, it loads either our vertical PNG or our horizontal 
PNG. And these images, so the horizontal PNG or vertical PNG, are predefined watermark masks that you have created previously. Um, and in this case, I've used uh, auto segmentation tool like SAM2, asking it to just guess where the watermark is and create a mask around it. And you can segment any watermark with this or really anything for that matter. So after we have our watermark segmented and all our models loaded, we have the frame by frame in painting, which is handled by the diffuse eraser sampler node. What the sampler does is that it iterates through each frame so it goes through each frame using the mask to identify the watermark and the diffuse arrays model in paints or fills in the mask regions with new visuals that blends the surrounding content uh, of the frame while also considering the adjacent frames to maintain the temporary consistency. So again, what we're doing here is we're just in painting each frame and we are erasing all of these watermarks almost like Photoshop generative fill. Like this is the easiest way that I can explain it to you. And once all the frames have been processed, the VHS video combine node takes the sequence of all these in-painted images uh, or frames and stitches them back together. Um, and then it uses the original frame rate to create a new watermark free MP4 video file. So again, in a nutshell, we are masking the watermark and we are in painting every single frame of the video. So if a 10 second video contains 290 frames, um, removing the watermark from each frame will take some time instead of doing this manually. This is an automatic process. So now let's just upload our video. It's gonna be this other one over here. Click run, boo. <laughs> Here you have it, no watermarks. So this, my friend, is the rundown of the entire workflow, but unlike Enhancer, you have more freedom to upload larger videos and adapt this workflow to remove other things besides just uh, the Sora watermark as long as you change your input mask uh, in the note over here. You can get this workflow from the link in the description and try to adapt it to your own needs. I recommend using an RTX 5090 with 32 gigabytes for quick and easy results. But again, if this is too complicated, all you have to do is head over to Enhancer Tools and Watermark Remover and you will find similar functionality that will only take a click of a button. And now, yes, it's a paid service because it uses GPU power and AI models, so you have to choose your battles. Either go for easy and paid or um, a bit more time consuming to set up and free. If you've read it, if you're struggling to figure it out, I do have a community where I offer technical support and my team members will jump on a live Zoom call with you to help you set it up. And we have more than 20 Comfy UI workflows that we have curated for you, including this one that my team will install or help install for you in real time. So if you uh, want to take your skills to the next level, and start to not be scared about open source and code, grab a seat in the community. We will do our best to serve you because right support is all you need. Everything else is intuitive. We also have weekly calls where we chat everything about AI. So this, my friend, is how you can remove any watermark or any unwanted objects in any videos using AI powered vision models. If this video was helpful, drop a like and hit that bell button to get updated with the latest news or latest tutorials. I appreciate you being here, friend, and, and spending time with me today. And if you want to support me in what I do, head over to Enhancer AI, grab a subscription, use the tools and give me all the feedback you have. Build it alone and this product means a lot to me because it has quite literally changed my life and I could have not done it without you. Um, We're adding live chat support for you to speak to a real human that can actually help in real time and I'm so excited about that. Thank you for being here friend. I hope that you learned something new today and if you did hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the notifications but something that I really want you to remember before you go about your day is that the real magic of AI is not what it can do for you but how it empowers you to do what you've always wanted to create without limits. This is serious.